I am here with Tony Luca right before the uh, show at The Social tonight, so yeah. I appreciate you taking the time, first of all. My pleasure. Yeah, um, so how does it feel to be back in Orlando, first of all? Uh, strangely like home. <laughs> you know, it will always kind of have a, a little bit of home uh, feeling to it. You know, you, you get within the city limits and everything looks familiar and then strangely developed in new ways that it wasn't last time. You know, it's like you get all nostalgic for, for the time you spent here. And, yeah. Um, but it's real familiar and, and, and I enjoy it here. I really do. Yeah, because when was the last time you were here? I think it was here back in April. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it wasn't March, April maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wasn't that well, long ago. Yeah, because um, I know you were here. How long? I mean, I know you were with Mickey Mouse Club years ago when yeah. you were way, way a little yep. guy. Yep. Uh, how many years were you like living in Orlando doing that? I was that? living here um, for a period of four years. Oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, I think it was March, April-ish of, of 91 mm -hmm. through December of 94. So pretty so. much high school years. My high school cause, year. Yeah, because we're about yeah. six months apart as far as age. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, all right, that makes I it spent, easy. To I spent the high school years in, in Orlando. That's yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah. So, um, well, I mean, did you learn anything back then that you were, are able to apply with your career right now? I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of specific things that I could say that, uh, you know, maybe on a daily basis I use this thing that I learned back then. Mm -hmm. It's more so like things that I probably wouldn't even realize that I, um, that I, I use on a daily basis that I learned along the way. Um, just, just in that, what we learned during that time was so, uh, rich and, and on a really hands-on experience for us as kids um, and uh, we couldn't help but carry all of that into our adult professional careers. Right yeah. and, and I know some of the people have of course you know gone different directions uh, you know since then um, you know whether they've become you know more like yourself where it's you know more independent you know not so poppy type yeah. things I mean do you keep in touch with you know anyone or any couple people in particular or have, have everybody kind of just gone their own way and yeah I mean it's everyone kind of has gone their, their ways but mm -hmm. um, but I do hear uh, from and see uh, you know some of the other, the other people more frequently than others yeah, uh, right. I tend to bump into a lot of them a lot of times oh. uh, I bump into to, to Justin, ironically, uh, in, in, in Hollywood, and Ryan Gosling as well. Right. We'll bump into each other at restaurants all the time. Um, I, I did keep in touch with, with Dale. Um, Dale got bold for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. um, we still keep in touch, and we're, we've maintained our, our brotherhood of sorts, you right. know. Um, of course, JC and I maintained our friendship for a lot of years, and... and uh, you know, but then yeah, everyone just kind of gets busy and finds their their um, their various uh, you know, circles of friends and industry people that they that they run with. And um, wasn't too long ago though, like I think sometime last month, actually back in October, um, we had uh, I had a show in L.A. and I just called a handful of, of friends that, I, you know, I was like, hey, you guys, what are you doing Wednesday? Let's all, let's all meet up at my show. So it was, uh, yeah, it was, there was, there was like six or seven of us that all got together and it was just awesome. Uh, you know, we all sat around and probably could have just talked all night long, you know, just catching up because what we shared was so unique and, and specific and, and um, you know, um, I, I compare it to like, siblings only richer <laughs> you know like if if that makes any sense i mean not not that we love them more than our siblings no, but, but it's right. the, the, but the experience did you guys the, shared something the, that 99 yeah. percent of the people will never ever experience yeah. and at that pivotal point in your life yeah I mean, exactly high school it was years, a formative yeah. years I mean, yeah. really it was an important time and we all you know found trust in each other and respect mm -hmm. each other that carries on to this day you know, yeah, so. no, that's that's great wonderful yes yeah. um well also, I have to say congratulations on the, on the birth of your daughter. Thank so, you. Like, about a month or a little over a month she's, now. Uh, so. She's six, six weeks this past Saturday. Wow. So, yeah. so how has having a newborn been treating you? How has uh, that whole it's, experience? It's really incredible. It's just one of those things that you don't, um, you hear about your whole life. You know, you, you hear about having kids and what's, what that's all about. And then you don't really get to get the gist of it until it's your turn right. I say you know um, 
and uh, it's just it's it's really one of those archetypical you know <laughs> milestones in your life that that you know a, a whole a lifetime of understanding that just oh. kind of pours into you all of a sudden you're like oh <laughs> I get it now I see what this whole thing is about you know? right. and um, it's wonderful oh. it's really wonderful oh, that's you know, there's a little adjustment here and there but for the most part man it's just nothing quite like it oh that's great yeah, and it sounds like you had quite a bit of time too to spend you know with your daughter before you hit the road as well so. yeah i mean it, it, it was an, an important period of time mm -hmm. you know the first four or five weeks is it's like okay let's all sort of establish a, a, a rhythm here as a family that's right. all kind of you know because i have a, a seven-year-old as well right. who is now you know He's no longer the, the reigning. <laughs> How is that? Yeah, what, I you mean, know, is there some jealousy or is not at all? It, no. It's not. It's it's indirect sort of jealousy. It's not jealousy as much as it is, you know, frustration and disappointment with the bigger picture. Sometimes how like all of a sudden, well, we can't really do this because we have to consider this and right. and. He's smart, so he can kind of connect the dots and realize, well, it's because we have a baby, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, I mean, with with her, he's fantastic. Like, oh. He will drop everything he's doing to help her and that's great. love on her, and that's great. That's yeah, because because he's going to be a big help anyway to he's your wife, especially help. when you're on the road. He's, and he's been that already, and it's just, I'm so thankful, mm -hmm. so thankful for that. Oh, yeah.